Yep, you seen the title in the thumbnail. We got a copycat recipe for you. We're going to do Texas Roll House Seasoned Rice. Man, if you're a Texas Roll House lover, you already know what I'm talking about when it comes to that seasoned rice. Y'all ready? Get in your kitchen. Let's go. All right, let's do a quick rundown of what we have. So right here we have our rice. We use some chicken broth, butter, some chopped onions, some cayenne pepper. That's optional if you don't want to use cayenne pepper. Smoked paprika, black pepper, soy sauce, garlic powder, and some dried parsley. So this is all you need, guys. Let's get to it. All right, to get started, we're gonna turn our cooktop up to a medium heat. We'll add our butter, and we're gonna get this melted. And once that butter is almost melted, we're gonna add our rice, and we're gonna cook this over this medium heat for about four to six minutes. That rice is gonna start to turn brown through this process. Guys, as you can see, our rice is starting to brown. We got about another minute or so left. I had to turn my heat up to like a medium high. All right, so now we're gonna follow behind that with our onions. And we're gonna cook this for another two to three minutes. And guys, you wanna make sure you constantly stir this too. And guys, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of minced garlic. I think that's gonna help that flavor out. All right, so now we're gonna come behind that with our dry ingredients, our paprika, our garlic powder, our parsley, that black pepper, cayenne pepper, and our soy sauce. And we're just gonna get this mixed until it's well combined. So however long that takes, it'll take you about 30 seconds. All right, guys, you see what we got right here? It's well combined. And now we're gonna come behind that with our chicken broth. We're gonna slowly add it. We're gonna stir it and bring the mixture to a boil. And once we have it boiling, we're just gonna reduce our heat to a low and we're gonna let that baby simmer for the next 22 to 25 minutes or at least until the liquid it's almost absorbed completely. And once we see that it's almost absorbed completely, we're gonna turn our cooktop off or your stove off, and then we're gonna let it sit for five minutes to allow it to continue cooking. And then we're gonna fluff the rice after about five minutes. All right guys, so it looks like we're about 15 minutes in. We're gonna remove our cover, stop our heat. We're gonna give this a good mix. Guys, take a look at that. Our rice is almost absorbed most of the liquid. Probably could have cut it off a few minutes earlier, but this is still looks good. Guys, take a look at that. That still looks good, fluffy. We're gonna sit it aside, let it rest for about five minutes, and then we're gonna come right back. All right, so we're about five minutes in. Let's remove our top. Guys, take a look at what we have right here. Man, we're gonna fluff this baby like this. And we're gonna hit it with a little parsley, just to give it some color. And there you have it guys, a copycat Texas Roll House seasoned rice. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's jump into quality control. Yep, it's quality control time. Bring that seasoned rice to the front of the congregation. Guys, look at that. Oh, man. Let's go ahead and test, test this baby out. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Reminds me of that Texas roll house, too. Mmm. I didn't even have to add any additional salt or nothing in it. This is good the way it is. Mmm. Oh man. Oh man. So, if you're a Texas Roll House seasoned rice type person, I got one for you. Just check All Wings Everything. So, until then, y'all already know who I am. Spinelli, All Wings Everything. And remember, I'm not a chef. Hmm. I just cook a lot.
and now I'm out. Peace.